Hi, I'm Adria from kajabiexperts.com. In this video, we're going to see how we can set up our custom domain with our Kajabi platform. So we will see how we can go from whatever.mykajabi.com to whatever.com. So the users will visit whatever.com and they will see your Kajabi site. Let's go ahead and let's see how to do that. Kajabi tell us that we have to use SSL in all, in all of our domains. So in order to proceed, the first thing that we need to do, we need to set up this SSL in our domain. I'm going to start like the most uh, users where you don't have any SSL or anything set up. So if you have that, you can proceed to the next step. For those of you who doesn't, we can go to the cloudflare.com slash plans to see the different plans that they have. For for the normal SSL, in most of the cases, we can use the free version. And you can sign up here. Free, it will be completely free forever, so it's zero dollars. And this SSL will be enough to set up your domain. Uh, we're gonna fill up these details and we're gonna create an account. Once you've, you've created your account, you're gonna be presented with a uh, onboarding similar to this screen here. Mine is a little bit different because I already have an account, but if you don't have an account, you will be presented with, uh, with an onboarding. The steps are the same, just the interface is a little bit different. So we're gonna add the our website. So in this case, it's kajabiexperts.com, but in your case, can be whatever site it is. So we say uh, kajabiexperts.com begin scan. And after the scan has completed, we can continue the setup. The scanning can take a while depending on the connection and on your domain. But after you finish, we can continue. And here you see all the registries that has been taken from the your domain register. In this case, I'm using Namecheap. So all of this uh, data in, has been fetched from there. You don't need to care too much about all of these because uh, you, we will just need to modify one thing. And in the future, if you want to do more stuff like uh, mailing and different redirections, you can change it manually. What we need to do is for the C name www, uh, we need to modify the value. You can either modifi modify it directly here if you have it, or if you don't have it, so let's say I'm gonna delete it. Let's add it. If you ha don't have it, like like I did now that I just deleted, you can go here, select C name at www, and in domain name, you should add the following. Endpoint.mykajabi.com and automatic TTL at record. So by adding the record, we are saying that the the domain name with www is going to be going to this endpoint that is an endpoint configured in the mykajabi servers that, that will redirect your petition to your actual platform the last thing that we need to enable is this so it needs to go through cloudflare right now it's not going if we just click one one time it goes through cloudflare I'm going to continue now and I'm going to say I'm using the free plan because with the free plan it's enough so we don't need anything, we don't need to pay anything and now it's telling us that it's time to change our name servers. This step, the it changed a little bit depending on which um, site, which, serv which uh, register you used. I, in my case I'm going to show how to do it with the name chip because I'm using Namecheap to register the, the domains. But if you use another domain register like uh, GoDaddy or name.com or whatever, it can change a little bit. My recommendation is that you check on the website, on the, on the domain register website, how to change your DNS. Normally, it's a simple process and it's not really hard to do. Let's see how you can do it with Namecheap. So I have here the Namecheap um, control panel. I'm inside the kajabiexperts.com domain. And as you can see here, there is the name servers configuration. So right now it's set to Namecheap default and we can 
Com here and say custom and it lets us add several name servers. Normally with two name servers is enough here and they are giving well they are even saying that we should remove the other name servers that are currently configured and they give us two name servers. The first one is this one john.ns.cloudflare.com so we just copy it and we paste it in the first space. Second name server laura.ns.cloudflare.com we copy it and we paste it in the second place. So here we have to save it and now the DNS servers, the name servers are already configured. We can, uh, well here actually in Cloudflare they give us instructions on how to change the name servers and when once we are done uh, as it tells us mm, it can take up to 24 72 hours to for the name servers information to update so we hit continue and uh, as you see now the status the status is pending we should wait a little bit normally can it usually takes less than 20 the 24 hours we can just keep checking, recheck, and as you see now, I just did an status active. So I didn't need to wait anything at all. Once we've done this, <coughs> we need to make sure that we enable SSL in our domain. How we can do that? Here we have the setting summary. It's telling us SSL full. So let's click and let's make sure here it says full. Again, it was saying it uh, in the other side, In it was saying it here, but I had a problem once in the past that it was saying full here, and once I check here, it wasn't saying full. So make sure you have full here. So by just clicking and checking. That's it for now. Uh, once we've done that, we should send an email to custom-domains at newkajabi.com custom-domains at newkajabi.com saying that we have already customized our new domain and um, you have to tell them which subdomain of the new Kajabi point. So for example, in my case, kajabiexpress.com, I would send an email saying uh, this is my new domain, kajabiexpress.com, I've done all the Cloudflare setup and my Kajabi account is whatever dot my Kajabi, new Kajabi, I think it is, new Kajabi.com. After you've done that, they will set up uh, some stuff in their servers and your website should be successfully running.